His father was considered one of the greatest musicians of the 20th century. It was like a perfect combination. His father could give it and he could just inhale it. So when he sat down to teach, he had so much to draw from. You just always felt like he was pulling from these deep recesses of knowledge that most people don't get to experience in life. You don't meet too many masters. He was teaching, never missing a class. He was sick, but still he taught. He was coming to the school. Look how many people are playing or singing Indian music in this country. It was definitely Ustad Ali Abul Khanchar who established himself here in California just to teach because that was the message he got from his father. All of the teachers that we have now have all studied actually long term here from Ali Akbar Khan. And our main instrumental teacher is our son, Alam Khan. My name is Alam Khan. I'm the teacher of instrumental studies here at the Ali Akbar College of Music. And then Swapan Chaudhary, our tabla master, he came in 1981. Yeah, 35 years in the same room since the beginning. Classes are taught here. We're up in what's called the North Bay, north of San Francisco. The classes are taught in person and online, in group settings and private settings. Eight of our live classes have a camera involved and they're run as webinars. People love it. They just love it. Here at the school, we have students that are coming to learn pure classical music. And then we have people that come and just want to learn concepts that they can adapt to their instruments. Guitar, violin, cello, and it's enriched their music and given it a different dimension and more scope. Why so many great drummers? I'm not talking about Indian drummers, but the Western drummers. Why they want to learn tabla? They're learning tabla in order to know the language so that it will help them when they will play their own instrument. That's what they are doing now. Many famous musicians all over the world of different styles have been greatly influenced by the rhythmic concepts, the melodic concepts, people like Carlos Santana, Derek Trucks, the Grateful Dead. There's just been so many interesting characters over the years that have fallen in love with my father's music and the music as a whole. Something that's special and unique to Indian music is that we teach orally. So when I'm teaching, I teach all of my students by playing my instrument or singing and they pick it up and play it back. In my class, I don't allow anybody to write first and then learn, no. You learn by your heart. Writing things you can write later on. You have to memorize on the spot. That's really different than most teachers. Really focus this time. Watch and listen. You're training your ear to such a degree that you can notice very fine, subtle things that are going on. I knew it. I knew it. What I tell my students is that when you're listening to me teach and you think you've listened as close as you possibly can, listen closer. And that's what indie music can help you learn is to listen very closely. The instrument that my father played and that I play is called the sarod. The sarod and sitar are the two most common and well-known instruments of India. The things that are very different about sarod and sitar is that sarod you play by sliding on the instrument, whereas sitar you play by pulling the strings. And the way they get their pulling sound on sitar, we get the sound through sliding. And that also has no fret, so you spend many years learning where the notes are placed. The emotional content that you get through the melodic phrasing is very unique. You really try to get as much as you can out of one note or a series of notes using ornaments and different things like that that were developed. Yes, about tabla, um, it talks to me. Tabla is a drum which can talk. If I talk with tabla language, and suppose you know tabla, you will understand what I'm saying. Te, te, and cut, and ga, and dha, and dere, dere, and tine, tine, and kre, and it just goes on and on. You can say everything you play. So it's a fun thing to teach, and kids really, really like it. 
In 1995, it became apparent that we had a house full of tapes. He composed fresh music every class. And that's how we ended up with 40 years of music to put in a library. It was recorded. It was mostly all recorded. So we digitized and have available over 8,000 hours of music. And we have probably about 125 concerts on video. My father always said that this music will make you a better person. And it's also very just natural. And you don't have to prepare yourself for anything. You just, my father would say, come, listen, and the music will do the rest. The thing about both concerts and myself, we never believed that this music has a limitation. This does not have a limitation. I don't believe that, that, it, that Indian music is only for Indian. It's meant for everybody.